Hey everybody, welcome back into TechPress. So, we're going to cover how to change your domain name into Namecheap. Whether you are rebranding your business or just needed to new domain name, this guide will walk you through the process of Namecheap. Remember, a domain name is key to online identity, so choosing the right one is crucial. Let's get started and navigate through all the steps of changing your domain name into Namecheap. First of all, domain changes. Changing your domain name is a significant decision. It can impact your branding, CEO, and online presence. Before proceeding, consider why you're making the change and then implication it might have. Ensure that you have access to your Namecheap account where your currently domain is registered. So, purchasing a new domain. To change your domain name, you first need to purchase a new one. Log into your Namecheap account and use the search bar to find your new desired domain name. In this case, let's go for domain the name search. Go for card and call. Once you find an available domain, proceed with the actual purchase. It is important to ensure a smooth transition to avoid losing data and confusing your visitors. Now it is time to update the domain settings. In your Namecheap dashboard, you want to navigate to your domain registration. You will need to configure its settings such as DNS records to match your hosting setups. Carefully update the DNS settings to point to your hosting provider, so that means redirecting your old domain. To maintain your online presence in CEO, you want to set out and redirect from your old domain to your new one. This can typically be done throughout your Namecheap account or your hosting provider control panel. So redirecting shows the visitors to your old domain are automatically taken to the new one. So that means that I wanted to go here into my Shopify store. As you can see, I'm going to go here into my domains. You can see that I have the techpress.lat. I'm going to go back into Namecheap and you can see that into my domain list, I do have this techpress.lat. What I wanted to do is to change from this domain into the other one that we have just purchased. So that means I'm going to hit now into Managed. Hit into Managed, I'm going to go back into my Shopify. I'm going to go for Connect Existing Domain. And here I'm going to type the domain that I have just purchased to change it. I'm going to paste it. And then it's going to be asking us to follow the setting structure. Let's go for very far connection. And here I'm going to copy all of these elements and paste it into this domain. So let's go into advanced DNS. Here into advanced DNS, do you want to choose the option that's go for add new record? Usually it's going to be asking us for an add record. A record hosting at IP address is this one and go for save changes. Now the second one should be C name triple W and this required value. So here, once it again, add new record, C name, triple W, this is the target, automatically and saved. There we go. Now I'm gonna head back and here's go for verify connection. So usually this might be taking a few seconds or even minutes, so you can check it later for connection updates or you can try it again. Now, this might be taking a few minutes, even hours, but this is how you do it, guys. So you make sure you can come back after a few hours uh, and then check it out if this one actually is working or not. Usually, you want to make sure that the value that you add here and the value that you add in here are exactly as it appears into the instruction that were provided by Shopify. And there, guys, is how you actually do it. That's how you change your domain name into Namecheap. Remember, it might take once again some time for these changes to be propagated across the internet, so be patient. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Express for more tech guides. Have any questions or tips about changing domain names? You can drop it into the comments below. Thank you for watching. We wish you great success with your new domain names. Stay tuned for more tech tutorials. Hopefully, guys, we can all see you on a next video.